hello and welcome to a new video for easy 900 preparation and this is episode number 19 question number 191 this question requires you to evaluate the text inside to determine if it is correct azure resource manager templates use xml format select no change needed if the above statement is correct otherwise Select the correct answer and the options are A. JSON B. HTML C. No change needed D. C Sharp So for the Azure Resource Manager templates it uses JSON So the correct answer is JSON As it defines the resources you need to deploy for your solution you can use ARM template to easily recreate multiple versions of your infrastructure such as staging and production. Other options that is HTML, XML and C Sharp are not valid language for ARM templates. Question number 192. Which of the following is part of the Azure Artificial Intelligence Service? Select the correct option. And the options are A. Azure Dev Test Labs B. Azure Machine Learning Service C. Azure Logic Apps D. Azure HD Insight So for this question, the correct answer is Azure Machine Learning Service As Machine Learning Service provides a cloud-based environment that can be used to develop, train, test, deploy, manage and track machine learning models to implement artificial intelligence. Now other options is, are not correct as Azure HD Insight is an open source analytics service for enterprises to process massive amount of data. For Azure Dev Test Labs, it provides self-service cloud environment that is for Windows or Linux for demo or training purposes to speed up the development process. And Azure Logic Apps help you to automate and orchestrate tasks, business processes and workflows. Logic Apps are designed in a web-based designer and can execute logic-triggered by Azure services without writing any code. Question number 193. You have 100 virtual machines hosted on the Hyper-V host in a data center and plan to migrate all the virtual machines to an Azure pay-as-you-go subscription. You need to identify which expenditure model to use for the planned Azure solution. Which expenditure model should you identify and the options are a capital expenditures b operational expenditure c elasticity d consumption based model so for this questions the correct answer is opex that is operational expenditure so operational expenditure is spending money on services or products now and being billed for them now. You can deduct this expense in the same year you spend it. There is no upfront cost as you pay for a service or product as you use it. Now other options are incorrect because capital expenditure is the upfront spending of money on physical infrastructure and then deducting that upfront expense over time. The upfront cost from capex has a value that reduces over time. For consumption based model, it allows end users only to pay for the resources that they use. Whatever they use is what they pay for. A consumption based model has many benefits including no upfront cost, no need to purchase and manage the costly infrastructure that they may or may not use to its fullest. The last option that is elasticity 
it is not a payment model it is the ability to automatically or dynamically increase or decrease resources as needed question number 194 your on premises network contains an active directory with 100k user accounts you are planning to migrate all network resources to azure to decommission the on premises data center you need to recommend a solution to minimize the impact on users after the planned migration what should you recommend and the options are a instruct all users to change their password b create a guest user account in azure active directory for each user now the azure active directory is renamed as microsoft intra id option c implement azure multi factor authentication mfa and d sync all the active directory users account to azure active directory the correct answer is d sync all the active directory user account to azure active directory so migrating users to azure ad is the best solution with no impact user data and credential will also remain same azure active directory is a cloud based identity and access management service azure ad helps employees of an organization sign in and access resources now why the other options are not correct so instruct all users to change their password is incorrect this step will not solve the problem as users need to be migrated from on premises to azure implement azure multi factor authentication is incorrect as it provides additional security for your identities by requiring two or more elements for full authentication this option will not solve the problem of user migration the last option that is create a guest user account in azure active directory for each user so this step will not solve the problem as users need to be migrated from on premises to azure creating a guest account will not migrate existing users and their details question number 195 you are planning to deploy azure solution and as a part of this you have to configure and manage several resources in azure you decided to apply a lock on resources which of the following are valid reason for locking azure resources and the options are a prevent starting b prevent deletion c prevent stopping and d prevent viewing and e prevent modification so here you have to choose the valid reasons for locking azure resources and the correct answer is prevent deletion and prevent modification so azure lock allows locking azure resources like subscription resource group or other resources to prevent other users in your organization from accidentally deleting or modifying critical resources you can set the lock label to cannot delete or read only now cannot delete means authorized users can still read and modify a resources but they can't delete the resource now second that is read only options it means it authorized users can read a resource but they can't delete or update the resource applying this lock is similar to restricting all authorized users to the permission granted by the reader role now other options are not correct as azure locks does not prevent from viewing starting or stopping resources for all your azure resources visit our official website tech cloud solution here you will find pdf dumps and practice test designed to help you excel in your azure certification journey 
वी आर करेंटली रनिंग अ स्पेशल क्विज फॉर द ए जी नाइन हंड्रेड एग्जाम बाय पार्टिसिपेटिंग एंड फॉलोइंग द सिंपल रूल्स यू कैन क्वालिफाई टू रिसीव टू फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन पी डी एफ एंड इन वैल्यूबल रिसोर्सेज फॉर मास्टरिंग द ए जी नाइन हंड्रेड टू पार्टिसिपेट सिंपली क्लिक स्टार्ट क्विज टू बेगन सो हेयर यू विल हैव टू फिल योर नेम एंड द ई मेल एड्रेस आफ्टर डैट द क्विज विल गेट स्टार्टेड If any questions includes images, you can easily click or tap the image to zoom in for a closer look. Stay tuned for the link in the comments and best of luck on your path to a Zero Certification Success. Question number one ninety six. This question requires you to evaluate the text inside to determine if it is correct. Microsoft Skype, Outlook, Office three sixty five are examples of infrastructure as a service cloud service select no change needed if the above statement is correct otherwise select the correct answer and the options are a no change needed b software as a service c platform as a service and d function as a service so for microsoft skype outlook office 365 are not examples of infrastructure as a service so the correct answer is it is a software as a service now infrastructure is an instant computing infrastructure provisioned and managed over the internet infrastructure as a service requires you to manage the operating systems application hosted on it network security and other aspects now for platform as a service it is incorrect as it allows you to manage the application and services you develop and the cloud service provider typically manages everything else now for the function as a service or azure function is a serverless implementation provides a runtime environment to execute code written in any language the user is comfortable based on the language chosen an appropriate platform is provided to users for bringing their own code question number 197 what azure tool gives you the ability to manage multiple subscription into nested hierarchies select the correct option and the options are a management groups b role based access control c resource groups d azure active directory now called as Microsoft Intra ID. So for this, the correct answer is management groups. So management groups are containers that help you manage access policy and compliance for multiple subscription. All subscriptions in a management group automatically inherit the conditions applied to the management group. Now the other options are not correct. as resource group allows you to logically group azure resources together resource groups are created under subscription so it can't be used to manage subscription for azure active directory it is an access management service to helps employees of an organization sign in and access resources azure active directories are not used to manage subscription the last option that is rule based access control it provides fine grained access management for azure resources enabling you to grant users only the rights they need to perform their jobs it's not used to manage subscription question number 198 which of the following give all azure customers a chance to test the beta and other pre release features select the correct options and the options are a private preview b general availability c general preview d public preview correct answer is public preview so public preview means that an azure feature which is in the beta phase is available to all azure customers for evaluation purposes now for private preview is incorrect as in private preview the customer needs to request to use it 
so private preview service is not available to all customers for testing or evaluation purposes for general availability a service in ga means that it has passed the beta phase and is now production ready so general preview is incorrect this is not a preview options available in azure question number 199 this questions requires you to evaluate the text inside to determine if it is correct so availability zones are used to ensure availability during maintenance events select no change needed if the above statement is correct otherwise select the correct answer and the options are a no change needed b availability sets c azure load balancer d scale sets the correct answer is availability sets availability set ensures your application remains online if a high impact maintenance event is required or if a hardware failure occurs with 99.95% azure sla availability sets are made up of update domains and fault domains now update domains are a logical sections of the data center and they are implemented with software and logic when a maintenance event occurs such as a performance update or critical security patch applied to the host the update is sequenced through update domains where fault domains provide for the physical separation of your workload across different hardware in the data center this includes power cooling and network hardware that supports the physical server located in server racks in the event the hardware that support a server rack becomes unavailable only that rack of servers could be affected by the outage now other options like availability zones scale sets and load balancer also provides high availability but not at the event maintenance options availability zones is incorrect as availability zones are physically separate location within an azure region that use availability sets to provide additional fault tolerance azs are used to avoid outages at data center level azure virtual machine scale sets let you create and manage a group of load balanced vms the number of vm instance can automatically increase or decrease in response to demand now the last option that is azure load balancer it is also incorrect as load balancer provides high availability by distributing incoming traffic among healthy virtual machines you can use a load balancer with incoming internet traffic or internal traffic across azure services question number 200 which of the following is the responsibility of microsoft while using azure virtual machines select the correct option and the options are a identity and access management b physical security c application controls d network controls so the correct answer is physical security so physical security of data centers is the responsibility of microsoft as per the shared responsibility model other options are not correct because the responsibilities are aligned with azure customer to manage a virtual machines that is identity and access management application controls and network controls